of course bring a monument in. Uh, we bring it in, pick it up the hoist here. We have a, a two-ton, 4,000-pound crane that we use to handle them in here. And by the way, the uh, the sea walls each weighed uh, 3,800 pounds each. We just about maxed out our, our hoist. Uh, we bring after we picked up the hoist, bring it over, put it on what we call it a bank or a work table. Uh, lay it down here. Okay. Then we apply the uh, stencil that's going to go on that monument, how it's going to be lettered. He is uh, spraying a, a black paint in the letters after it's been sandblasted. Once, uh, once we got it all, uh, got it all stenciled, we picked up the hoist again. Bring it to the uh, sandblast row. And uh, set it on our sandblast cart and run the monument in the room. And then we stay outside. We use a uh, a man-made abrasive. Uh, it's, uh, it's made in electric furnaces. It uh, doesn't break down very fast. It might last quite a while. We use it over and over. Eventually it gets broke down, gets dusty. And we have a, an exhaust fan, dust collector that pulls the dust out of the room. And once it's finished uh, with the sandblasting with it, got it cut down good and deep bring it back out and uh, put it back on the work table and spray it and then it's ready to peel and wash. For example, it's going over here. In the process of peeling the stencil off of this one here. All the, the black is what you see, that's going to be peeled off. And then it'll be washed up, and cleaned up and ready to go to the cemetery. Uh, I started when, uh, when they had all the letters were a uh, metal plate with a little edge sticking up. And you laid out the letter rack and then with carbon paper and tracing paper, you'd rub that. And you take the tracing paper and you lay that on your rubber stencil, place it where you wanted it. And then you rub that and uh, that would transfer that carbon on the stencil. And then using like a little extractor knife, you cut every letter every line that you see out there by hand. And uh, it was quite time consuming. But uh, I started doing that when I was 12, 15, 14 years old. Dad would let me do a little bit. But, uh, and then we, uh, when we sandblasted, everything was done by hand. You swung the nozzle, didn't have an automatic curtain. So you'd stand there for a couple hours doing this, and of course you get tired, you could stop, wait, take a break for a while, and go back and go again. But, uh, everything was done by hand back then.